are you okay today are you happy today i am happy as usually okay today we are going to listen to a story the story calls the little red riding hood okay the little red riding hood it's a nice story you are going to like it okay so first of all you have to know some words all right so the first one is grandmother grandmother the grandma grandma oh so cute grandma grandmother the second one is wolf 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 all right then you should know bed bed this is the bed all right what else basket of food basket of food and uh, then you are you also need to know about ears ears eyes eyes and teeth teeth all right zeal let's go to the story let's go <laughs> This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near a big forest. Her grandmother had made her a beautiful red cloak with a big red hood, which she wore every time she went outside. And so everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, Grandma isn't feeling very well. Will you take this basket of food through the forest to her cottage? Yes, Mother, said Little Red Riding Hood. I sure would love to see Grandma. She put on her red cloak and she pulled up her red hood and she took the basket of food into the forest. Remember, her mother called after her. Don't talk to any strangers along the way. I won't. Little Red Riding Hood promised and she skipped down the path and into the woods. Little Red Riding Hood did not have to worry about getting lost in the forest because she knew the way to Grandma's house very well. But along the way, she saw some beautiful wild flowers growing near the path. I bet Grandma would really love these, she said to herself, and she stopped to pick a few. Hello, little girl, said a deep growling voice from behind her. Little Red Riding Hood was very startled. She spun around and saw a big bad wolf standing in the shadows between two trees. Hello, said Little Red Riding Hood. She didn't know that the wolf was bad, and she had already forgotten her mother's words about talking to strangers. Where are you going on this fine day? asked the big bad wolf. I'm going to my grandma's cottage on the other side of the forest, said Little Red Riding Hood. She isn't feeling very well, so I'm bringing her this basket of food and these flowers. What a sweet girl you are, said the big bad wolf. He smiled and showed his mouthful of sharp teeth. The big bad wolf was quite hungry and he was not interested in the basket of food. I had better be going, said Little Red Riding Hood. Bye. And she skipped off down the path. The big bad wolf's stomach grumbled and growled with hunger and suddenly he had an idea. As quick as he could, he ran through the forest all the way to Grandma's cottage. The sneaky wolf opened the door very quietly and found Grandma asleep in her bed. He picked up the old woman, opened his great big mouth and he swallowed poor Grandma in one gulp. Then the big bad wolf climbed into the bed and pulled the blanket up to his chin. He put on Grandma's glasses and her nightcap and he waited for the little girl to arrive with her flowers and basket of food. When Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the cottage, she opened the door quietly and found Grandma lying in bed. Hello, Grandma, she said. Mother told me you weren't feeling well, so I brought some food and some flowers. Do you like them? What a sweet little girl you are, said the wolf in his fake grandma voice. Come closer, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood took a step closer and she noticed that something looked a little different about Grandma. My, she said. What big eyes you have, Grandma. 
all the better to see you with, said the big bad wolf. Come closer, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood took another step closer to the bed. My, she said. What big ears you have, Grandma. All the better to hear you with, replied the wolf. Come closer, my dear. Little Red Riding Hood took one more step closer. My, what big teeth you have, Grandma, she said in surprise. All the better to eat you with, growled the big bad wolf. He jumped out of the bed and as he opened his great big mouth, Little Red Riding Hood shrieked and tried to run, but the hungry wolf grabbed her up and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood in just one gulp. Outside the cottage, a woodsman happened to be walking through the forest when he heard Little Red Riding Hood's shriek of surprise. He hurried inside and he saw the wolf with his huge round belly. The woodsman grabbed the big bad wolf, turned him upside down and shook him by his feet. Little Red Riding Hood came tumbling out of the wolf's mouth and Grandma followed. The three of them chased the big bad wolf out of the cottage, out of the forest and over the hill. The big bad wolf ran for his life and was never seen again. Little Red Riding Hood learned her lesson and she never ever talked to strangers again. The end. Remember to please like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on all our new videos. Wonderful. Thank you for coming, kids. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.